Hi everyone and welcome to my studio. I would like to show you today how to make this very nice big uh, Mother's Day basket. It's made out of a complete 12 by 12 sheet of paper with the su succulent designer series paper and old olive cardstock. And we're actually going to be using two stamp sets today. I have the Brushwork Alphabet and the Thoughtful Banners. So we're going to tie that all together. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side. The first thing we're going to need is a sheet of 12 by 12 of very vanilla cardstock. And we're going to score this on all four sides at four inches and at eight inches. Just like that. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Okay, and that's all we're gonna need the scoring tool for. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just get things folded. It's easier if I do it this way. Like so. Hold it up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my paper snips or scissors and we're going to have this is the top, this is the middle, and this is the bottom. So we're only going to cut up to the first score line. Here it is. This. Whoopsie. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the same thing. Like that. And then one more time. Should have got my bigger scissors is what I should have done. Okay, so now we have this together. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on its side like this. And um, we have the top, middle, and bottom. I'm going to flip it over because we're actually going to be, while it's flat, let's go ahead and put our designer series paper and our cardstock on it. So the next thing you're going to need is... Okay, this is Old Olive, and this measures, I have eight, three, and three-quarter inch squares, and they're going to go like this. Now, I'm going to pause the camera, I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to use tear and tape on the back of them, and we'll get that all applied down. Okay, so I went ahead and took my old olive cardstock and my DSP, and I went ahead and just did all the squares with these last two. The measurements I want to give you are the old olive cardstock is three by three quarters. Your designer series paper is three and one half, I believe. Yes, three and one half, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this down. Now I've, um, I'm using sticky strip to attach it to the cardstock. A sticky strip, or a sticky strip, oh my gosh. Tear and tape, <coughs> excuse me. Tear and tape is a lot more adhesive than um, snail is so when I'm going to get when I'm putting together a project I like to use a uh, tear and tape for the bulk of it but like for designers designer series paper I'm gonna go ahead and use snail on it okay 
So I've done all the blocks except the middle one. The middle one is actually going to be the bottom. Okay. So let's go ahead and flip this over and go ahead and put this together. Now, I'm going to flip it back over again. This is going to be your end. Okay. These are your middle. This will be the other end. So I'm going to flip this over and bring and put my middle, my middles in, because I'll just show you before I tape it. And your middle will come up and you want your top two corners, these two corners are going to match up together like that. See how that looks for a side? Okay. Now I think, and I didn't do it last time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time. I'm going to take my tear and tape and run and put a strip at the top of each middle. That way, um, it's already there and you're not trying to hold it all together and then put your tape in and like I tried to do it last time and it just didn't quite work out so well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off like that and I got my finger in the middle here so it doesn't stick but I still can kind of eyeball about where I want it just like that. As long as your top two corners meet and then put together like so. Okay, there's one in. Now, I'm also, I should have did this before, but I wasn't sure exactly how that's gonna fall together. I'm gonna take another piece of tear and tape and I'm gonna go on the inside, probably on the back here, put it down. That way your ends are secure. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down as well. And I'm gonna lay it like this and kinda, there we go. There, there is one end, okay? Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. Except this time, I'll be smart. <laughs> Go ahead and put my tear and tape down. Yeah, it's gonna be covered up anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the middle off. Okay. Go ahead, I'm gonna put my finger between the sticky and the actual cardstock until I get it lined up where I want it. And then I'm gonna press together. Now I'm gonna go in here. I knew it. I put it on the other side, didn't I? That's okay, that is okay. I overlapped them wrong. I wasn't watching what I was doing. So I'll just take a piece of tear and tape and just kind of snuggle it in there. Take it off. Okay. And I'm just going to lay it down and just kind of rub everything together. So there is our box. Our basket. Start of the basket. Okay. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to work on the handle. For your handle, you're going to need a piece of very vanilla cardstock. This measures... 12 inches, 12 inches long, one inch across, a piece of um, old olive cardstock. This measures, I believe, 11 inches. Let's see. Yep, 11 inches by three quarters. And then this one, which I'm going to. Supposed to measure 11, but we're going to do 10 and a half. There we go. Okay. This measures 10 and a half by one half inch. And all we're going to do is real simple. Lay them out like so. And I just take my, my snail and I run. Boy, that was curvy, wasn't it? And then I'm just going to lay this on here. Kind of like that. Now it's okay if you have adhesive on the end because when you bend it you're going to fix that to um to the thing to the to the basket so i'm gonna go ahead and try and do it this way there we go and you flip it over and put that on top just like 
that. So there's our handle, and we'll fix that in a second. Your handle, now, I talked about extra adhesive. I'm back to my tear and tape again. I'm gonna take a piece, and I'm going to put a piece of it at the bottom, uh, probably, I wanna say that's about an inch or so. Because again, with the layers, or if you have layers, it's just better to use tear and tape and a stronger adhesive than it is to snail. Snail will hold, but only for a very short time. It's not meant for 3D projects. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on the inside of my um, box and then I'm gonna turn it over and just fold it over like so. Okay, there's our handle. Isn't that cute? There's our handle. Okay, I'm gonna set that off to the side. Let's work on the setup sentiment. Now, like I said, I'm using two stamp sets. Um, Mother's Day is this month. So I'm gonna use the Happy and Mother's Day from the Thoughtful Banners. I'm also gonna be using these as, as well as the Duet Banner Punch. Let me get it out as well. So there is that. And I'm also gonna work with a Brushwork Alphabet. I got this and really haven't used it, and, and this project came up and it just kind of works perfect. So um, we'll get that out, we'll work with those two. I'm gonna use Old Olive, and I went ahead and got my uh, stamps up and running here. So the first thing we need to do, okay, that's scrap, I believe. Okay, let's let's go ahead and work on our punch. Okay, um, everything is everything I stamp will be in old olive, so there's no worrying about other colors. But I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna move this one over here. It's easier to work with. We'll just have to punch it out multiple times, but that's okay. You know what? And this one is actually going to be stamped in um, Old Olive, or on Very Vanilla. And this one is going to be stamped on Old Olive cardstock. I'm going to do it down here. Okay. So you see that? Okay. I'm going to take my banner. Punches. Stampin' Up! Punches. I love them. Um, because they have a lock on the bottom. So you just slide that up and it'll unlock. Boy, my, my cat got me. She really did too. So let's go and get those punched out. So I'm going to kind of line things up. Okay, that piece is garbage. Put that to the side, and then we're gonna go after this bottom piece. Like so. Okay, that's off to the side. So these two pieces I'm gonna use. It did punch out this piece, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put it with the stamp set it coordinates with. That way, if I have an extra project, I can, uh, I've got a piece already cut out. I'm gonna have to get out the punch. So, um, that's how I organize, kind of organize some things. So I'm done with those two stamps. Now, this is a fun part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one. And I want to put Happy Mother's Day in this little tiny space. So I'm gonna start with Mother's Day because Mother's Day needs to be towards the bottom as far as I can get it. Okay. And what's nice about these stamps, I hope you can see this, is you can curve them there, like that. So they're curved. Okay. Now I want this. I wonder if that's going to fit. I'll go down a little farther. Hmm. 
Well, it's where, it's want, it's where I wanted it. So it's just really a tight space. And then happy is actually going to go right above it. And I'm, I hope I'm not getting my hair in the camera, but I need to look to where this is going to go. There. Not perfect. Um, but I think it'll work. It'll work for right now. It's handmade. Got to keep that in mind, too. It's handmade. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get dimensionals. I'm going to flip that over. And put one dimensional in the middle. And then take the backing off. And then center it. I think this is the most, this is the hard part, getting it centered right. Because it is a small piece that you're working with. There we go. There's our Mother's Day. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side. Now I'm going to get my, um, need a, another piece of, um, very vanilla cardstock. This measures one and a half by two and seven eighths. And I'm gonna use all three stamps. That's actually, I'm not gonna use the big block, but we use, we use the smaller block. There we go. Holy moly. Okay, again, old olive. Gonna ink this up. 